The only major COVID measures left for waitstaff, like those at this branch of Umamido Ramen in Brussels, is to wear a mask. But with vaccination rates in the Belgian capital lagging behind the rest of the country at just over 52% double dosed, the government is considering imposing COVID passes like they have over the border in France. A scan of a QR code proves a person is vaccinated, tested or recently recovered from COVID. Restaurants here might have to do the same. It just feels a bit sad in the sense that we are already, we, our industry suffered a lot and now we are being uh, almost held hostage for, to get towards this aim. And I wonder if there are not more efficient ways to do this instead of, a, of an industry that has already been beaten pretty hard. The sentiment of this restaurant is echoed by the Brussels Association for hotels, restaurants and bars. And they're also worried that it's only the capital region that's going to have to enforce the COVID passes and not the whole country. The fear for establishments like this, which turn tables quickly, is that the administration will lose them customers. In France, Italy, Denmark and Ireland, where similar systems are already in place, vaccination rates have seen a marked increase. One of the diners here in Brussels actually works as a waiter in Paris. After one week it was okay. And the, 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 the other guy, the customers, know that you, you need it. So, yeah, they just come and you scan it and it's, it's good. And other customers told us they wouldn't mind. If it grants me access to restaurants and, uh, and, and outdoor activities like festivals, I will be uh, glad to do it. The Belgian Prime Minister has hit the streets of Brussels on foot this week, asking people to get vaccinated. The hospitality sector is waiting on a decision from his Covid committee on whether to impose the passes, and that's expected on September the 17th. Jack Paracura News, Brussels.